Alrighty, it's that time of year again, I gotta get this thing registered. Which means I gotta get it to pass smog. So I'm gonna go through the check engine codes. So I thought I'd make a video on how to test your OBD1 car and get the check engine codes. So, this is for 96 and older, generally. They don't have the plug under the dash where you can just plug a scanner into it. These ones you got to do an EEC4 test. So you want to find your plug that says EEC test on it. There's going to be a plug and a little spare wire here. You want to get yourself a jumper. In my case, I have one that I actually just made up. Or you can just use a paper clip. And you're going to go from this little extra guy here to this pin right here. So you got the four in a row. You got the one that's spaced out longer. You want to go the opposite on the short side. So I plug these in. And then basically the check engine light is going to start flashing when we turn the key on and that's going to give us all the stored codes that are in it. So grab a pad and a paper and a pencil and there's our check engine light. So we're going to turn the key on and the fans are going to come on the relays are going to start clicking because the computer is testing all the circuits. And then the check engine light's gonna start flashing and you just count the beeps, count the flashes. So there was 335, which is an EGR code. Usually does each code twice. And we got a three three two. And that's it. So we got a three three five which is a EGR pressure feedback sensor. And a three three two which I don't know. So we're gonna go look that up. Alright, so now we're gonna go to troublecodes.net and I've got a flipped over rebuilt dodge. And it should give us a list somewhere. So 335 is the EGR pressure feedback sensor. And then 332 is insufficient EGR flow. Which would make sense because I've got the EGR disconnected. So, I'll leave a link to this site in the description, and hopefully that helps you out.